Aikman, Blood So Young. It's like Detmer, Cunningham, Elway, Boomer. Some guy rip it, I don't know. Brett Favre, Brett Favre. Hustetler, Jim Kelly. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Dan the Man. Steve Berline? I don't know. Is it Dan the Man again? What's happening? <laughs> Moon. Steve Young, bringing up the line. If you guys haven't guessed it already, it's Brothers Forge Gaming. Bringing you a look at the NFL Quarterback Club 96. 96? On the Super Nintendo. All right, so you get preseason, new season, inter playoffs, Pro Bowl. We're gonna go preseason. Now, one of these has a mode where you get to uh, play, it's like the Quarterback Club Challenge. I believe it's just the game that's called Quarterback Club. Uh, I don't think there has a year associated with it. It's just NFL Quarterback Club. Now that one has the uh, like the challenges where you throw at the moving targets and you tap the buttons for distance, and um, you know it's got the different events. You can train your quarterback and actually import them onto a team or that kind of thing. Um, it's multiplayer. You get you get to you know you and your buddies can can each make the quarterback and go head to head or or whatever. Oh, look at these graphics. <laughs> Polygram preview, I like that. Greatest ever, ever. Two people I have never heard of before. As you can see, guys, you get quick D here. You can either choose your defense, nickel, 4-3, four, 4-6. Four, it looks like you get quite a bit of defenses. Um, or you just hit quick D if you don't want to deal with it. Um, so that's cool if you're a newer player. You're not a fo uh, you know Maybe you're not a football-minded player and you want to just do quick D, it should put you into a pretty basic defense for the situation. Um, something I'm noticing too is that the players, you don't see their numbers on the field, or sorry, their names on the field, but you do get their numbers, so, you know, you, you might not get the names on the field, but you do get the numbers, and then the names will come up if, like, a play happens, you know, so that's cool. Uh, L and R, switch your player. Oh, he caught it. They're going to score a touchdown. That's what I get for trying to catch the ball. So that was cool. He did a little shimmy shake. You get a spike animation and a ref animation. Yeah, baby. No! Pick it up! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Why did you dive? Oh, that was terrible. The Claim's entrance into the trying, you know, trying to compete with Madden. Claim was a pretty big game producer of this era. You know, things like Mortal Kombat and and other games. They were just pumping out games. Uh, they did a ton of sports games on the '64. Uh, but you know, EA was just making better games, and it, I believe they they just either quit trying to make sports games or. You know, EA either bought them out, absolved them, whatever, but uh, Claim did not continue to make sports games, <laughs> which is, you know, not a bad thing. Awesome. So this isn't a, isn't a terrible sports game by any means. The fact that you can play up to five players is, is really cool. Um, in one of the versions, you get to do like this mini camp thing where you can build up your quarterback and you can import him into the game, maybe even make some other players. So from the multiplayer aspect, this is a is a pretty good game. Um, unfortunately, the gameplay though kind of ruins it. Um, yeah, damn right, pass interference. As I was saying though, yeah, is is although the the gameplay. The game had such potential, the fact that it's five players, you know, at the same time that you could create players, that kind of thing. It had a lot going for it, but 
there's just something about the gameplay doesn't feel right. Um, it's, it's kind of janky movement. You do get some cool spin moves and stiff arms and hurdles and things like that. Stuff that you didn't see implemented in Madden until later in the in the franchise. So in a sense, it was ahead of its time, but reality, it just you know, it just didn't have what it what it needed. All right, well, anyway, that's been a quick look at Quarterback Club on the Super Nintendo. That's Quarterback Club 96. Just wanted to get some quick footage of that one. Um, there's a lot of years, a lot of these years out there, the Quarterback Clubs out there. So um, take your pick. Some of the ones on the 64 were a little better. Uh, we, we didn't really care for the ones on the Super Nintendo. Um, they just weren't right where they needed to be. I think this was a big a big time in sports between like 94 and probably around 2000 where the football games at least for me weren't you know they weren't all that great so uh, I would have rather played Tech Mobile as you've heard me probably say before so anyway this has been Brothers Forge Gaming taking a look at the NFL Quarterback Club uh, hopefully it's brought you some information that was helpful alright guys thanks for watching